this is the triangle card weaving. This is your shuttle. I've got yarn left over from the last weaving I did. I'm going to unwind a little bit here because you want a little bit out when you start the weaving. I use these little hooks to go and anchor. The clothespins keep the cards from sliding down your warp. This is your warp. I have cards. These are triangle cards. I just made them. There's 12 of them. They're labeled A, B, C. And they're numbered. When you start, you're going to bring your cards forward or backward. You're going to make sure that they're all lined up so that A, C is on the flat side facing you. So I'm going to put my weft thread a little backwards today. Now, sometimes when you're tying up your warp, everything will be apart. I'll anchor it with a clothespin also. I love clippy clothespins because they're very handy. So you see that I've got this anchored in here. I'm even gonna wrap it around here so it doesn't go anywhere, all right? Now, for the, for the first few rows, we're just gonna bring the cards forward and that's done by merely turning them. And because I made these out of the nice plastic from the cat litter containers, these do turn pretty nicely. Keep in mind, this I've done a lot of the square weavings, but not. this is my first time ever doing the triangle. I had a really hard time finding documentation on how to triangle weave. It seems like everybody out there pretty much has written it off as not enough design potential. I finally have these turned. I'm gonna, I slid my finger up here because that's all I care to do in it for keeping it tight. I'm gonna pull this a little bit, not much. And now I'm gonna pass this through and you'll see that I've got a good shed here. Now, B, A are, are the letters B, A are facing me. So this goes through. According to my pattern here, I'm going to do eight turns towards me or forward. I'm going to do eight turns backwards or away from me. So here we go. We'll, we'll snug this up here. You'll see the little loop there. I don't know if you can see it, but now I'm going to turn the cards towards me. And it's cool to try to do it all as a group. The cat litter uh, container these make they're sturdy they're slippery and they they pretty much slide and turn relatively easily when you're starting out you are going to come across especially with triangle cards I don't recommend triangle card weaving if you're new to card weaving I I recommend you stick with the squares until you do this can do the squares smoothly uh, and you've done quite a few pieces this this will give you fits and starts because they the, the corners they do tend to they do tend to tangle with each other and that's why they're numbered that way you know see that's four it's lopsided but you can go through and make sure that everything's nice and neat um, it looks fussy right now but that's you're gonna it's gonna look that way for you until you're doing it nice and smoothly too now I put the first the second one through letters CB C being the top one, B being the bottom one, are towards me. Now, I'm going to snug this up. You see how tight I'm pulling this? Because this is supposed to be a one to one and a quarter inch wide band. Now, I'm going to pass my shuttle through the, sh through the shed. I'm going to bring it up here, and now I'm going to do it, which is going to turn the cards so that they're a, C are facing me, basically back where I started. And after a while, you will see a pattern develop. I think sometimes people give up on this or they use too many colors. Card weaving does not lend itself very well to a bazillion colors. You want to keep it as simple as possible. Now see, I can move these cards down, up and down. I can move them down. I can move them up. Now, I'm 
I'm pulling on the warp. It's okay to do that. A lot of people will tell you, no, don't pull on the warp. And the thing is, is that it helps snug up the weft yarn. So now I've just snugged this up. And don't worry about anything you see sticking out because as you weave, those are going to snug right in and they're going to tuck in. Now I've got this snugged up. I pulled this in tight. I'm going to pass, pass my weft, the shuttle, back through the shed. Remember, this is the shed. I'm going to snug it a little bit towards me. And, and see, while you're turning, these, these do, they, they want to hook up with each other. Okay, there. Now I've got BA showing, facing me. There's my shed. I'm going to snug it up. I rolled 16 more rows so you could see um, the band. I'm at the part where I'm going to weave in reverse or away backwards, but I wanted you to see the other side of the band too. And in my opinion, I think this one's the prettier side, but it doesn't matter because this is going to be a dog leash, so both sides are going to be visible. And this is my design. I designed this on Guntram's card weaving thingy. And that's what it's called. Guntram's card weaving thingy. You can find it on the web at his website. I also have it on my ins other my instructable on how to make your own card weaving cards. I have found with a little bit of tinkering that it does help to slide them up and down while you're turning them. So I'm they're in the they're they're currently in the BA position, which is where we ended on row eight. So now I'm going to turn them away from me backwards, which is where we want to start everything. Now see, here's my shed. I'm opening it up wide. I'm spreading it. Now I'm going to pull the weft and pull it tight, nice and snug, and pass the shuttle through the shed. I like to make sure that it's nice and snug before I turn again. So now, backwards, away from me. And we're going into the next one, which is the CB position. Snug it up. Pull your weft thread tight. You'll see it draw in. Pass your shuttle through the shed. Now, we're at BC or CB according to this, which is row two. And now we're going to go to BA. I'm doing this, telling you what, 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 what the letters are facing you so you know where you're supposed to be at if you do decide to triangle weave. And please do remember, though, it is better that you practice with the square weaving before you jump into triangle weaving. I don't want anybody throwing their looms around and such. So that was row three. And so now we're going to go to, we're at BA. We're going to go to row four. Row four is AC. Again, basically, there. See? Now that time it went really well. And I always run my hand down this way because when you weave in the opposite direction, it untangles. This, this gets pretty twisted up down here. It basically untangles it so you're so you have more comfort throughout your weaving. You're gonna need to readjust your your warp tension. So you'll find at a point that it will get really tight, and you know you'll you'll feel like it's, you could twang a guitar tune out on it. It's not necessarily the case. Pull, the, pull your weft thread tight, nice and snug, and try to keep it even. You want to keep an even width. And here's the back side. And again, remember, we're going backwards or away. Snug that up nice and tight. Pull your weft thread. Pass your 
your shuttle through the side. Number six, again, we're going away, and you can kind of see that. You can see the threads changing colors. And yes, it is, it, it is good to go and just basically fold it all in your hand if you can. You need to pay attention to your work and make sure that you're in the right direction, that your cards aren't messed up, that they're not out of order. away and you can kind of see what I mean by moving it up and down because see it does help so we're going to pull our weft thread snug pass the shuttle through the shot and we are complete the starting out is a lot more difficult than what people will tell you and I don't know what their reasoning is for that. I think it's best to just be honest. You know, when you're working with stuff, just, just tell people, hey, starting out does is kind of rough sometimes. Now we're going to pin it up. And like I said before, your pins keep your cards from sliding up and down. 